Welcome to my D3 project demo. I have chosen in order to demonstrate the cost of living in and outside of London based on the data set that has been provided by KCL, a Sankey diagram that is as follows and has been done in D3. And if I restart it, you can see there's a bit of an animation happening between the different links and the nodes. And there's a lot of interactivity that I've given to this diagram, so the user can choose to move it around. Uh, if the user hovers on the node, the links get highlighted, um, both the source and the target links. And then if they, um, the user highlights the link specifically, they can get information between the two nodes that are connected and the data itself. And in this case, at the end, I also get the percentage. So out of my total data set, I have 31.92% of people that are very worried out of the ones that have been surveyed. Uh, outside of this, the user can drag the nodes around. Uh, the user can change the color if they want to. So there's static and Valentine, which are two separate schemes, and then pass the range, which will create a random color set for all the nodes every single time. The background has a gradient that changes with mouse movement. So the user can change and choose the background they want. And if I press toggle gradient here, I'm choosing, I'm, I'm changing the background to black and I have a radial gradient to my cursor that moves around at it. So let's switch back. Um, outside of this, if I if a user right clicks on any nodes, they can get information. They can get a bar chart with information for all the data in the data set, depending on the node. And the color of the bar chart of the bars uh, becomes darker, the higher the value. And blue represents the source nodes, and then orange represents the target nodes. So they are uh, separate. Outside of this, the user can also zoom in and zoom out and then move it around. And if they press scroll wheel, it resets to the original position. Uh, they can also toggle the color. So now it's black. And then same thing for the um, Sankey, where they can move it around, move the uh, Sankey around and the node, and then zoom in and zoom out. And then in order to um, change the size, they have two sliders here that change the length and the width, and the text automatically gets removed for the nodes that, where the text is uh, bigger than the node itself. And they can also choose the uh, way the nodes are arranged. So the alignment, I can have them left, which is this, or I can have them right, which is flipping it around and justify this similar to left. And for the last, um, feature that it has, it can process the data set. So I can press process data set. I can choose my original data set. And now I have gotten a JSON file here at the bottom, uh, which I can then use uh, in this D3 uh, visualization. And then I can also press save as PNG, which will save the Sankey as PNG. And if the bar chart is available as well, if I press save as PNG, I get the Sankey, the bar chart, and then a combined PNG with both of them. So, and the, trans the background is transparent and all of the user interaction uh, are saved into that PNG. With all this said, I would like to thank you for the time dedicated. 